All right, what's going on guys? Alan F. Ready here with another video test. I wanted to showcase uh, running Microsoft Office Suite on the M1 platform. And keep in mind, I'm gonna be doing this recording with Activity Monitor recording in OBS as a window and then screen sharing what it is showing on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this and go into the files that I want to uh, locate for you guys or test for you guys. Uh, it's all in a setting I have here called Office Test. So, First off, what I wanted to do was test out a Word document, a PowerPoint document, an Excel document. So if those of you are familiar with data visualization or data editing, this is the sample superstore that you could get from Tableau. Um, here's some PowerPoint slides that I edited one to be one megabyte. This one was supposed to be five megabytes. I copied it a bunch of times and then a 15 megabyte file, which I actually duplicated already, making it 30 uh, megabytes. So this are the files that I'm going to test opening. And then I wanted to get almost like a performance. If you were working from home, maybe you're on Microsoft teams and uh, want to meet with people or screen share, I'm going to be showcasing that using this, um, during this demonstration with a screen share going while recording. And I'm going to go ahead and join from my phone as well to showcase some of the features. And one cool thing you could do is actually turn on live captioning. And I'm not sure if you guys know about this in your meetings or using teams, but you should be able to see the settings there um, as well. So I'm going to go ahead and screen, be screen sharing in the background while I'm running this. And I'm going to be joining on my phone just to showcase, um, you know, some performance, uh, make it kind of real life if uh, people wanted to test so you could see sharing on OBS as well. So I'm just going to have that open and I'm going to go ahead and open the files. And while doing that, just testing, um, you know, sometimes people may want to open multiple files at the same time. So let's go ahead and just open all of these files at the same time and see 17 files being opened. You could see really fast. It's opening there. Microsoft's opening cells opening has a macro. Let's enable these macros. Um, those seem really fast to be opening. It looks like all the files have opened there. Um, Word opening as well. Some slight graphical issues. I don't know if you're noticing that on the recording. I have multiple recordings, one through my camera and one through OBS. Um, but in the meantime, it looks like this one only opened up one version of the Superstore. Let's go ahead and see. Perhaps it's an issue with the macros opening up multiple Excel files at the same time. Um, each one of these, since they all have macros kind of taking away from the tests, but most, part, I don't know if you saw that graphical thing. It seemed to have opened all of them at the same time. So for Excel, um, something I'm seeing is on my phone when scrolling, uh, it seems to be some delay. That's probably network stuff, but for the most part on my screen, visually what I'm looking looks to be very smooth. Um, some basic tests you could probably run is just running a sum on this column. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, getting the type on Mac compared to Windows. So that went ahead and computed really fast. Um, not too advanced. Maybe one advanced test we probably do is if we were to run that calculation on the whole column. So keep in mind, I didn't actually sh mention or showcase to you. This is a 40,000 row calculation. So let's go ahead and see what happens there. If I were to drag this to the bottom, um, how fast I could do those calculations. You can see a huge spike in the CPU, CPU usage. Let me move this actually, move this to the side. So keep in mind, this is with OBS running teams sharing screen. Most people won't be having OBS taking up bandwidth and also to mention I am on a battery source. So. Um, probably some extreme testing for you guys doing this, but for the most part, that was pretty fast. That could be, um, useful for some of you who are sharing on Intel's. I personally have an Intel MacBook 13 inch and 2018, 15 inch. And I do notice some lag when kind of screen sharing and, or using uh, PowerPoint or office suite. So a lot of files open, a lot of windows open. Let's go ahead into this windows, uh, this word document and perhaps maybe some of you guys are putting in a lot of images. Let's see how fast the copy paste is. Uh, I'm just literally going to hold it down for a second. 
um so it went from 28 to 353 um pictures pasted i'm not even sure that my desktop could keep up with that pacing and how smooth it is um, so this is really impressive coming from a device that is on complete battery right now let me quit and don't save any of that so i'm going to kind of do the same thing on this 44 megapixel uh, device seem to be getting actually a slowdown right now um probably it was trying to save the clipboard settings from the word doc when i was closing um, we'll, we'll see what's going on here getting a slowdown let's see how long this lasts i'm still showing that it's sharing my screen though on the uh phone joining on teams actually i actually got a application not responding on word or powerpoint so perhaps pushing this to the limit by doing both copy pasting and also opening up a file let's reopen this and see if i could get some performance again so here are 40 slide file pacing that really quick if i just hold it down let's see what happens um i think that pace it really fast people on max maybe and intel's try to test this out yourself um, i definitely don't think you may get this performance screen sharing and using obs at the same time um, so we're going to close out of that and some people maybe use teams and slack so this could be you know a testing run for you guys of stuff um, seems to open him actually way faster than my Intel machine, um, my Mac Intel machine. And then something's going on with, uh, so let me actually close that. Something's going on with lack seems to not be sharing Then quit and reopen it. So I will mention actually for most people recording, if you're doing screen sharing, you may get better performance if you not doing the settings that I'm doing. This video is being recorded at full retina display and software going low. So um, I was actually noticing I wasn't getting 60 frames per second there in the recording for most people. I mean, you probably want to just record at 1080p. Um, I'm just testing out the performance of OBS and stuff of that nature. So Slack taking some time to upload there, um, perhaps due to the OBS recording taking up some of the bandwidth or CPU usage. You can see it's really getting stressed here um, on some of these cores. And it looks like they don't actually record the CPU history that wasn't showing on screen. Hmm. Now that's interesting. So overall, really impressed by how fast this has been going. You can see that it's also been using the um, live captions as well this whole time have OBS going, everything sharing, and the Excel files opening really quick. Um, probably one of the most impressive things was that test I did running the sum on the 40,000 at the same time. I'm not exactly sure um, if people are doing a lot of intense Excel calculations. I'm gonna actually do it again um, just to see that you know, we had a huge spike down here in uh, CPU usage, and we're also getting GPU usage probably from the share. So I'm going to go ahead and expand that, drag down, double click once again. This is all running on battery as well. So during that time, I think I started literally haven't used any battery at all. Um, so this thing is a very powerful machine. For those of you curious, maybe just noticing the performance here versus the performance you would get on your uh home machine could influence some of you guys to purchase this machine definitely performing better than my other macs using windows and teams i'm definitely noticing it so that is my wrap up of kind of a business day-to-day -day use with the microsoft suites let me know if you have anything you want to test as well I'm looking to get more into some actually video game performance outside of business and work um, you may want to use this as an all-in-one lightweight machine to also play some video games on mac os so this has been um, quite an amazing review and study of the office suite. Definitely pushes the limit. You see all the cores are ramping up high. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions or things you want to see next, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.